G'day guys, I'm here with Johanny here from uh, Mabuburu, the Aboriginal Tourism Broom here and instead of me talking about it, I'm going to let him tell you, tell you all about what he does here. So I'll take it away mate. Basically uh, in Broome, Broome is Yaru country and Yaru is my mob, um, the traditional owners of that area uh, in and around Broome. Uh, so we're, we're, at the moment we're out on Roebuck Plains, we're next to a place called Jalmagunin, we're about half an hour out of town. Down here we've got a, a series of spring sites, we say Jillers and that's why it's called the Journey by the Jillers Tour. Um, and so today we've actually been out and I've, I've shown uh, the family around town, Elvin and the crew, sorry not around town, around the, around the old sites here, freshwater spring sites. Had a bit of a journey by the Jilla, uh, but this is one of our experiences that we do with Marble Brewery Tours. The other one in town, we've got a Min Min Tour, which is, uh, goes from Cable Beach to Roebuck Bay. Um, and teaching people, basically what we do is we teach people about, about Yarra country, Yarra culture, Yarra traditions and our law business and how that all connects with us. Our connection to country um, and a bit about Bugarigara, which is our word for dream time. Eh? Dream time is not our word, so we teach people about Bugarigara and tell a bit of our creation stories. <clears throat> We also do the turtle nesting experience, which is it's a cultural turtle nesting, like a two-in-one experience. And so that happens around November and December, uh, normally. And then the other one we actually got, the fourth experience, <clears throat> which is a two-in-one experience again, but this one is a cultural experience, similar to what we did today. Uh, we start off with that, and the last half of it is actually a private crocodile feeding tour at the Malcolm Douglas Crocodile Park, uh, which is where I also work as a wrangler and a, and a, and a co crocodile feeding tour guide as well, which is where you guys Yeah, we yesterday. did that yesterday, that's how we knew yeah. about this, and it was awesome, guys, check it out. And also the tour, we had an awesome time, we learned a lot. I mean, you can walk around the bush all day and you wouldn't learn as much as we learned in like, you know, a couple of hours with uh, Johanny here, it was awesome. Yeah, sing some songs. Yeah. Um, the stories that go with those songs and um, just basically offer an opportunity for, for us to engage different different cultures. Uh, it's not just always about me teaching other people, we're actually learning it's a two way thing. I'm learning a lot from other people from that are coming from, used to come around from around the world yeah. before COVID, but you know, yeah. all around Australia, it's, um, it's good. So, because the people are always different on the tours, these tours are almost always different, eh? Like for example, today is supposed to be a two and a half or maybe three hour tour. It's gone for four hours now. Is it? Oh, I didn't even check. <laughs> yeah. But that's because it's been fun, you know, it's been engaging and I, I find that's important. It's building your, this understanding between cultures is really important. We've today been recognized as, um, well, tourism is like a tool for reconciliation. Right? Mm -hmm. We've been described now as reconciliators, if that's a word I'm not oh, sure, okay, but yeah. it's, it's, it's really important. It's yeah. a stepping stone in the right direction. Yeah, I think so. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, we'll leave it there. I'll talk to you about it a bit later. But yeah, I want to say goodbye to Johanny here. Thank you very much, brother. No worries. It was nice a to pleasure. meet you and the family. Yeah. And uh, I'll see you around town while you're still here. Yeah, Otherwise, we'll yeah. be here for a little bit longer. Yeah. See if I can get another mud crab, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giving me some tips, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put it into place. <laughs> no worries. Alright. <laughs> see ya. Okay guys, don't worry. I haven't uh, stuffed up and put in the wrong footage in this video. I just had uh, had a shave and a haircut. Hey, man. Looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, we came back here to where we were, um, oh, just looking at the sunset, it's stunning, eh? We came back here because actually, um, Johanny told us that they got really good sunsets over here, and, um, that's what we came back to. Check out a beautiful sunset over the land rather than the sea, like we usually do. And, um, we thought we'd take a minute just to, um, give our thoughts on how we like the, uh, the tour, I guess it was, hey? Yeah. So I'll let you go first because I kind of said a little bit before already. Yeah. Well, I find I found it very interesting, very um, informative, and also mm. very um, wholesome as well. Just it's it's so hard to believe like how long people have been living on this land, and you know, just to hear about their way of life or a little bit of it is really fascinating. It really um. That whole connecting to country it's mm. it's profound like once you once you feel it once you see it hear it it's um yeah it really moves you inside and with our travels um you know three years going we found it that we do connect with different places mm. in australia and this is actually the only the first time we've taken the opportunity yeah. for an actual tour yeah yeah the local people local first nations people 
and it's um is really great like yeah we haven't actually come across too many opportunities to do so mm. and it was just by chance that we saw his brochure at the um the malcolm douglas crocodile park and um yeah we picked it up and we we're looking at it and the lady working over the counter just so happens to be johani's partner uh emma and she says oh did he tell you to you know to look into it oh no we're just looking into it and then we got talking to him because he was obviously working there and he just kind of sold it to us it was like yeah no nah. so we were really keen on it came it was only 120 dollars per adult the kid in charges for the kids which was awesome um definitely worthwhile eh? like that you pay for it well not quite that much but yeah it's, it's really not a lot of money um considering what the information we get and we really love uh learning about country and the plants and animals and she's really been into like the bush tucker stuff and we've yeah, we found out yeah. a few things like yeah. that um green bird um, flower that we just discovered in the Pilbara yeah. and now we're here and he's like oh yeah you can eat them it's like yeah. oh that's all like, that's so awesome hey <laughs> yeah. yeah and they're actually pretty tasty they taste like a bean <laughs> like um yeah anyways and they had a little uh, little pocket of nectar so I gave it a little sweet kick it was awesome min 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 yeah ah. like the lights you know min -min. Min -min. Oh, yeah. and that's why the other one's called the min min tour because mm. they found in this dune system see the yeah. ancient dune system in town the min min tour goes from one side of the room the coastline to the other side which yeah. is where the dunes are yeah and so the min min's are always found on that tour cheers i'm gonna eat them all yeah like a pee Chew it up nice and good because you don't want to try all of it in, all of it in, all of it in. Look at that! You're missing that. out on the nectar that's not going in with the with that green so that little... Oh wow! Yeah, do you want to taste some of that? Yeah, do you want to drink that water? It's nectar. Did you taste it? Mm -hmm. You want to break that one? And have a taste? Say that. Sammy. Good. Why can't I bless what you want? This one here. So, um, that one there, you want to break that one? Have a taste of that one? Just a little bit. Salty. Yeah, it is very salty. Well, that is a really little bit, isn't it? Have a taste. You got to chew it up good. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Let's go for a walk. We've got to change hands, sorry guys. <laughs> oh, holding this camera gets a bit heavy. But yeah, so I highly recommend that this experience and they do offer a couple of different tours, one in town. Um, so we, he suggested this one for us because we've actually been in town for a little bit already and we've already had a bit of an explore and found some dinosaur footprints and stuff on our own, which is kind of what he shows anyway. So th this one worked out really good for us anyway. And uh, this is like a part of the country we would never see because we're not even allowed to go in there this is still a working cattle station um but they, obviously it's also their land so they can go in there and they have different areas that's just for them so yeah otherwise we wouldn't get in there and, and check out these um springs and stuff like that so i think he's doing a really good job of it um yeah i wish him all the best of luck in the future yeah. for it i think he's gonna uh, i really love doing it and now we are gonna actively seek out more of these types of experiences because we've we learned so much we really enjoyed it and yeah, you, I feel a lot more aware of my um, the of, of the land and um, and what goes on. Yeah, because you hear all these stories and stuff. But yeah, I think in Australia it's a bit of a weird situation where we don't know too uh, know too much about our um, indigenous fellows. So yeah, it's good to it's good to get in there and and, um, and learn firsthand because I didn't really get taught a lot of this stuff in school, which is a bit unfortunate. But I think they're. Uh, changing that um, which is awesome to to learn anyway hey. yeah. yeah well it's a great resource available like um, Jahani does his own YouTubing yes oh yeah I forgot to mention guys yeah he's got a YouTube channel too and I'll put the link in the description below for I remember or on the end screen uh, but it was the same as the name um, the company name which it was Mabuburu Tours, that's right, hey, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, check that out. Um, he's got some videos on there with him hunting goannas and, and other things, and mud crabs and all that. And I've, I've actually been watching it since I met him yesterday. He told me about it. I've been watching it a lot, so hooked on it. So, yeah, yeah. he's got heaps of videos on there. Check him out. His passion really comes to yeah. He's very passionate about sharing his knowledge, <laughs> which, is, which yeah. is great. Yeah, no, I love <laughs> it. It's awesome. We wouldn't know otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's enough jibber jabbing from me. <laughs> I'm carrying on a bit. This uh, sunset is sun is setting behind the camera. We do have a uh, 
what do you call it, a time lapse of that happening. So we'll show you that, guys, the end of the, today, the day today. And we're going to go back um, and enjoy our evening. Yeah. Well, tomorrow is a full moon. So oh, yes. The famed staircase, staircase to the moon. To the moon. We're going to try. We're going to try and do that. And capture that. Yeah. So, I have no and idea we'll on how to, to go about that, but we'll, we'll work it out, hey? <laughs> yeah, we'll have to um, scout it out in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Where to set up? And yeah, um, to those do. are heaps of spots. Wiki camps have been pretty good for yeah. um, finding spots to do Great. that kind of stuff. Anyways, guys, we'll um, see you in the morning.